Sí, 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 cómo no. Muchas gracias. Muy amable. Lo que es la gente local, nacional e internacional, Reina Adriana, ¿qué mensaje le podemos dar en este día muy esperado por todos? 
con el demonio. Se sabe que los indígenas mayas continuaron practicando lo escondido, lejos de los españoles, donde nadie podría interrumpir. De acuerdo a los estudios realizados en Yucatán, existen 17 grutas denominadas caminos al intramundo. Se dice que los Se dice que en estas madrugadas, si la gente ve estas procesiones, debe de guardar respeto y encerrarse en sus casas. Si un ánima se acerca y te regala una de esas velas, no las tomes, porque al día siguiente serán convertidas en un hueso. Y el día 30 de noviembre vendrán por esa vela que te dieron, ese hueso, y se llevará contigo también tu alma. Le pedimos por favor a la prensa que nos permita avanzar en este inicio del Paseo de las Ánimas 2019. Mérida es arte, Mérida es cultura. Iniciamos este Paseo de las Ánimas 2019. Y una vez que el desfile de los niños ha iniciado, comenzamos ahora con el de las almas de los adultos. Mientras a los niños los rodea la alegría, los colores, a los adultos los rodea el blanco, símbolo de los humos que se elevan. 
de los aromas que se lleva el copal, fruto de nuestras oraciones que se elevan a los cielos para recordarles. Aquí estamos, no te olvidamos, estamos aquí, estamos ahora, estamos vivos y compartimos esa vida contigo, hermano, contigo, hermana. Ven a nosotros, mamá, ven a nosotros, papá. Disfruta una vez más de este Hanal Pichal, comida de las ánimas. En esta noche del Paseo de las Ánimas que se celebra aquí en la ciudad de Mérida. Y va a partir de este cementerio general para dirigirnos al Parque de San Juan. camera's a little hard uh, I gotta do it manual focus Hope, hopefully you guys can hear me but anyways see look that's what awaits us over there you see that crowd so we're now again we're just walking all the way through it's uh it's a lot of fun a lot of cool things I'm having a great time I hope you guys can hear me anyways if you can't we'll find out later Llorar, 
tenemos algo parecido también ¿Cómo está? ¿Es bueno? ¿Es bueno? 
Hey guys, so as you guys can see, we're already walking through um, the streets of Merida and um, you're seeing a lot of these altars, you know, all throughout um, the walk down to the center. Now, um, as you guys can see, like all these places are houses, you know, I'm trying to film and record as much as I can, but you know, there's a lot of houses around here and people just come out and they put their altar right in front of the house and like everybody just walks right through here. So it's really, really cool. You get to see everybody just come out and uh, you know, they sell stuff or they have like a little altar or they do both. But regardless, it's, uh, it's really, really, really cool. And it's really awesome to, to be able to see it from this perspective, you know, to be able to see it from, you know, my perspective, meaning that like uh, in your perspective, you know, we've never seen this before. So this is kind of new to most of us watching this right now. But um, as you guys can see, look, pan over there. You guys can see over there, like this is like a house and people will live, you know, coming out of their houses, doing their thing. You can pan over here a little more. And you see again, you know, just people walking, you know, like uh, doing their thing right out of their house. And it's, uh, it's just a really, really cool experience seeing the whole community come together um, for not just this event, but other events, you know, around the city just like this. So, all right, we're going to get back to having some fun, all right? We're going to get some more food. I already ate on Tostitos. Sing! Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Now, we're here at Christian's house. We're here celebrating. What are we celebrating? Anna Christian, welcome to my house. <laughs>
and today is November 1st, okay? You're gonna be watching this on November 2nd. And by the way, this is Grandma. Hola. The other. Hola. <laughs> and we're here celebrating, um, and, entonces, hoy es Día de los Muertos, right? Sí. Okay, so today is Día de los Muertos. So how they celebrate it out here in Yucatan is that on October 31st, as you guys saw, there was like that proceeding at the at the graveyard. But today is the day in which the spirits of the children are celebrated. I mean, not today. Yesterday, October 31st, was the day in which the children are celebrated. You know, that's their, when their spirits are celebrated and uh, honored and um, all that stuff. Today is when we do the adults. All right. And, um, and on top of that, today is also when we, you know, um, make this. All right. So um, this is like an altar that is created in every home and um, everyone. Um, so for example, let me show you. Over here, there's a picture of my dad. That's my grandma. That is um, a Christian's uh, grandpa, dad, right? Or a grandpa? That's grandpa. that's Christian's grandpa right there. Grandpa. That's grandma's Grand -grand grandparents. Okay, that was, that was shot in the early 1900s. Um, and these are other family members, okay, that have also passed away and um, you know what we do is that we offer what they love the most or you know we come close to that so you know here we got like a little bit of uh, vodka rum tequila um, we got a beer we got fruits you know that they offer we got a, a tamal here let me have the shadows in the way we got a tamal uh, which is called el pib right and so it's a spelled p-i-b so el pib and this is uh just corn masa that's made with um, you know um, pork right beef chicken, chicken right and they mix it all up together into something really really yummy and then they get this uh tamal all right and they bake it and that's why it's like crunchy so it's like i haven't tried it yet but it looks amazing it looks like really crunchy um cornbread type awesomeness and it's just i can't wait to try it i'm mean, starving yeah and so that's um, um banana leaves and those banana leaves are what cover it um you know as it's being cooked um, in the oven, which again, you know, this it looks amazing. Everyone, I can't wait to try it. Okay, so we got the candies over here, right? And just various candies, you know, from out here. And then we got soda, water, right? Sí. They got some water, simple. just regular water, so they can wash it all down. And so what happens is, is that here? Let me let me do this so it looks better. Okay. So what actually happens is that um, the dead come in, and um, they. Um, enjoy the food that is laid out for them but they don't eat it they just take the essence of the food and then you know once they've come taking the essence of the food um, what happens is that they um, leave right that's it <laughs> okay. and then we eat the food we eat you know what's uh, what's there and that's how they do it here also look let me show you something that's really cool um, so here is a candle and this is for the this candle is uh, signified for the the people that are forgotten so um, in every home, um, it's traditional to have a it's traditional to have um, a candle and the door ajar, as you guys can see, so that um, you know um, if there's like um, someone that's forgotten, the dead, as you know, that's forgotten, um, and they're walking by and they come through the house and they see that the candles lit, that means that the home is open and offered, so that they can come and enjoy some of this as well. So that's something that they do here um, in the Yucatan that grandma does that we're doing. And it's really cool and it's really awesome to be able to share this with you and share it uh, with uh, my new family here. And it's awesome. Uh, right? Is it too dark? Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. And, um, and that's it. And so we're just going to wrap this show up. It's already a long enough episode, but I, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I just finished editing it. Um, I just, um, right now, it's the second day, um, November 1st. And we're here um, now just celebrating. And then I'm going to go home, put this at the end of the video, and uh, upload it so that you guys can watch it on November 2nd. Or whenever the hell you're going to watch it. But anyways, so yeah. That's how we celebrate um, El Dia de los Muertos out here in the Yucatan, which is very different than how they celebrate it in other parts of Mexico. But that's just how they celebrate it here. And, um, and really, it's like as she was saying, it's not that we celebrate the dead, it's that we celebrate the, the gathering, we celebrate the life, right? we celebrate the person, um, we celebrate um, everything that is about them, good, bad, ugly, the whole nine. And, um, and it's, it's, it's more like a serious um, um, and 
you know, remembrance, and it's more like a serious uh, thing than what they do out here, as opposed to other parts of Mexico, as more grandma was telling me that, in other parts of Mexico, I know, sorry if it's loud, <laughs> but anyways, in other parts of Mexico, what happens is, is that, like, um, they celebrate it in a completely different way, they actually celebrate it, and it's a completely different celebration out here, it's just more serious, it's more Catholic, you think Roman Catholic, so when the Catholic um, influence came out here, it meshed real well with the Mayan culture, and uh, there's just an extension of that, this is just a mixture, you know, of uh, Mayan culture with Catholic Christian culture, as you guys can see, Mr. Jesus Christ on the cross there. So, all right, guys, this has been an awesome video, awesome day, awesome few days, awesome holiday. I, I love Mexico. Another reason why Mexico is beyond amazing. I can't get any better. So, I'm starving to death. All right, literally. I mean, for reals, I'm beyond hungry. And um, I'm gonna get some munch on. She's gonna get. She's hungry. Grandma's hungry. Everybody's waiting for me to sit in the table. So, what we're gonna be eating, by the way, just last before we wrap it up, is this. So that's what's gonna be eaten, and then we're gonna be drinking some of that. You already know. And then that's it. You know, hopefully I don't get too inebriated, but it's okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna be uploading this no matter what. Okay. Anyways, all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. You already know the deal. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons. I want to give a shout out to all my contributors. I want to give a shout out to all you guys, no matter who you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. I upload every single day. And uh, don't forget to stay awesome. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you mañana. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.